Hi everybody, it is Crystal. So I hope everybody is doing well today and staying safe as I always do. So um, today I have a mystery bag and I'm, if you watch me, you know that I super duper love, love, love mystery bags. I mean, I love them a lot. <laughs> There's so much fun to open. Um, so this mystery bag came from another YouTuber, uh, Reggie from um, J Hook, J Hook Crochet, and um, she is based in Germany. Now I actually ordered two, but only one has came so far. It actually came a couple days ago. I was gonna wait and see if the other one came because you know how postal service is kind of slow nowadays. I couldn't wait any longer. So when the other one comes, I will open that also. So she sells these in her Etsy shop. And as I mentioned, she does have a YouTube channel as well. Um, so I paid 60 US dollars for this. And this is how it comes. Are you guys excited to see what's inside? I am. So let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. And like I said, whenever I get the other one, we will uh, open that together too. I don't know if they'll be the same. I don't know if they'll be different. I really don't care because that's the chance you take with mystery boxes. All right. Like I said, I, I she does. I, I I don't know if she has any for sale right now. I'll look for you before I uh, go. But you can check out uh, J Hooked Crochet. Um, on Etsy and see what she's got for sale. Oh my goodness. So this was $60. Let's see what Reggie sent to Bayoudi Crochet. I don't even know if she knows it was me. Actually, because I don't think in my Etsy shop I even use Bayoudi as my email. I think it's a different email. So I don't even know if it's me. That's okay. So uh, let's see. This is called Allison May a sparkly cake. Now, this is what it looks like. Very beautiful. It smells clean. Um, I actually got two of these in different colors. So we'll go over them a bit. But these are an exact, almost an exact replica of Lion Brand's Date Night yarn. But I love Lion Brand's Date Night. I made a lot of things out of it. So this for me is a win. <laughs> I like it. It says it is 82 acrylic and 18 polyester. Now remember, it's almost identical to Lion Brand's Date Night. That is what I would compare it to. Um, it feels nice. It's very sparkly. Hopefully you can see it in my lighting here. Um there are 150 grams or 375 meters. So uh, that might be more yardage than Lion Brands. And it might be a little bit finer of a weight. I can't um, tell. It says hand wash, lay flat, made in China. Well, I, I don't know much about this stuff because, you know, I can't get this here in the, in the States. Uh, I've never even heard of this brand. But, like I said, it does remind me of Lion Brand Date Night, which I love. So, it is a chain spun construction. Um, I consider that like a three weight, maybe. You guys can just check it out and, you know, do your judgment on that. It's a lot of yardage in that. So, uh, it, it, it's a bit different than Lion Brand's, but it's pretty, like, the way it looks, it's very, very similar. I like it a lot. I love the both the colors. It's beautiful. I love gray and this teal uh, green or seafoam green or whatever you want to call it is actually absolutely beautiful. I might have something made out of this color and the Lion Brand Date Night. I'm not certain. So what I'll take away from this is it's a beautiful yarn. Um, very uh, similar in resemblance to Lion Brand Date Night. Appears to be a bit thinner maybe. Um, very, it's soft. It's scarpable. Smells clean. It's cool. I mean, Allison May, never heard of the brand. A lot of yardage up in here, uh, 375 meters. So, you know, that's like 400, a little over 400 yards. You know, you can do some damage with that. It is a little bit lighter weight than the Lion Brand Date Night, but overall, it's a cool yarn. 
I like it. So I got these two. Nice. Happy with these. Happy with these. Okay. This is called... I'm probably not going to be able to pronounce any of these words. Um, so uh, forgive me. I'll just hold this up. There you go. I'm not even good at that. I go to reading cursive. If you know me. So <laughs> that's what that is. Let's see. So this is like your standard, uh, you know, like hobby twisters or um, stuff like that. It's the fine weights that uh, you make the shawls with. So, you know, a lot of companies have those. Um, this one is uh, 100 or 80% cotton, 20 polyester, um, 437 yards. So, you know, it's about the half the size of a t hobby twister or cotton, ki cotton king. Um, it is composed of, uh, you know, it's put together with, I'm trying to find the center, or I can't, um, three strands, four strands, they're together, and that equal probably a sport weight yarn, which is pretty common in those type of yarns, um, Red Heart, it's a wrap, uh, Rainbow is very similar to this, a little more yardage than that, uh, Lion Brand has one that's very similar, but overall, I like it, I think the colors are very beautiful, I'm very much a green and yellow type of person. I like this. It is a bit lightweight for me, but it still does not mean that I don't like it. I do. I'm happy with that. Very nice. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay. Lane Yarns, Montana. Mmm. This looks promising. This is the, this is 35% new wool, 15% alpaca, and 50% acrylic, 50 grams, 90 meters. Um, I love it because I like this style of yarn. It's roving, and as you can see, it goes from thick to thin. It's a very beautiful color. It's like a rust red. Also, again, one of my favorite colors. It smells clean. It looks beautiful. I, uh, let me, let me see what's it made up again. You can see the, a little bit of the alpaca hanging off of it. This is actually a really cool yarn, but as with the roving, as you can tell, the nature of the roving does go from thick to thin. It's a gorgeous yarn. It really is a gorgeous yarn. I like this one a lot. Probably my favorite so far. Um, very, very pretty. I can see a beautiful cow made out of this. What, what's the yardage on here? 90 meters, so about almost 100 yards. 300 yards, and it's thick, you know, like that. That's going to make a gorgeous, like, neck warmer or cow. I will be keeping this one 100% certain. <laughs> These are my style yarns. Oh, I think I'm going to keep this one, too. Some yarns I keep, some I put in giveaways. These are some pretty yarns. <laughs> okay. This is something I've never heard of either. Of course, I'm, you know, you, it's cool because you get yarns from places that you've never heard of. This is called uh, Owen Live um, Trend Collection, Lenny331 King's Tweed. So that looks like gorgeous yarn. It's a very pretty uh, tweed purple and heathered purple tweed look, uh, flecked. I really love flex yarn. It's fleckin' awesome. So, uh, 50 wool, 46 acrylic, and 4% visco, which, of course, is the flex that you see. Um, oh, it works up rather nicely. That's a little uh, sample of it, you know, like that. what it would look like knitted on a knitting machine. It's hand washed, lay flat. One ball of this, so I got about 80 meters, 88 yards. I can make a hat out of that if... I play my stitches correctly and I know what I know how to do that so I'll be able to do it because it is a thicker yarn again it's a roving style I classify that as probably a thicker bulky five very very beautiful yarn garfable smells clean yeah that's going in my key pile I love that okay I got a couple hanks here let's see <laughs> okay this is called 
Hiptonic Yarn. HiptonicYarn.com. Um, the collar is called Helix. Zero, zero, AK number three, I guess. Helix Fingering, 100% Peruvian Highland Wool, 437 yards. Now, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. Unfortunately, that fingering weight is something I cannot work with. But that is a very, very pretty yarn. Let's check out their fingerings. So sometimes fingerings are different. No, that's a fingering. <laughs> it's a really lightweight yarn. You know, and I know a lot of people say you can add it to other yarns. Um, I do do that sometimes. This is almost pretty enough that I would be tempted to do that. Look at those colors on the inside. That's beautiful, beautiful yarn. I like that a lot. Here's the, oh, the front if I didn't show you. So this would be on the verge of, I don't know if I'll keep it because it's lightweight or I might keep it because I could go and add another yarn to it. It's not something I normally do, but if I like the yarn good enough, I will. This will look really good, I think, with a mo, like a solid mo, fingering mohair mixed in with it, maybe. I don't know. That's a beautiful yarn. Okay, there's one more in here. This is called LBS, which stands for Little Vicious, Vicious, S-H, Stitches. A love of hand-dyed yarns, LBS. Um, this is Bounce Superwash Merino and Nylon DK, and it's named is God, God's Like the Sun. It's 75 Merino and 25 Nylon, 225 meters, which is 246 yards, and I'm going to classify this as a lightweight three with all <laughs> my hand dyed yarn experience him. I'm going to guess that's what that is. Um, so let's look at this beautiful stuff. You want to? Um, here's your lightweight three. Spot a spot on DK, which is a lightweight three. I like that. It's a very beautiful yarn. I love the yellow. I love the pink. I love the white. So this will probably go in my keep pile. And I have a tote of hand dyed, and I will throw this in there <laughs> for a rainy day. So that's beautiful. Uh, okay, and then I got a little packet here. Let's see what's in the little bitty organza bag. I have lights too short by the yarn it's cute i'm gonna have to agree with that i mean that's an excellent quote i mean i'm gonna hang that on one of my jackets <laughs> let's see what we got here this is uh vitamin d powder in uh what is this is this tea oh it's tea Okay, I'm not, like I mentioned, I'm not a tea person, but my husband and my oldest daughter absolutely love tea, so they will definitely use this. There's a B12 tea. I think it's tea. Yeah, it's, it's written in, I think, German, but, um, and there's the vi uh, vitamin B12, I'm sorry, and then a vitamin D. Nice. So that was, that's great. That's what was in my yarn mystery bag. Like I said, when I get the other one, I will let you know. Now, if I had to choose a favorite, it would be very hard. Um, it's a toss up between two. I think I'm going to go with, uh, I really love this hand dyed right here. I think it's very, very gorgeous. Um, it's a beautifully well done hand dyed yarn. Um, mm -hmm. And I will definitely keep that. And I really love this uh, Lang um, Yarns Montana a lot. I probably make something out of that um, for a tutorial. Now, don't get me wrong. I love it all. Um, these lightweights I will not be able to use. Um, but I do have a friend that I know that probably could. Um, and I do love these that are 
uh, very similar to date night but you know there are a few differences they're very beautiful i love sparkly yarn so reggie i love everything that you sent um i would highly recommend um her mystery do you see this I, I think maybe they're all different i saw i watched a gary from urban yarns open one and that's what made me buy a couple i don't know if they're all different or not. i don't know i don't know what you're gonna get i guess it's a surprise that's what a mystery box is of yarn you don't buy the yarn you buy the yarns with the intentions of the surprise it's the fun it's not knowing and this was fun i got yarns i've never seen before in my entire life and i know that i never would because i don't live in germany and it's hard to get these type of yarns um i've watched reggie's videos before and it's cool to see her go to uh, her little yarn shops and stuff and you know um I think I might have even seen this on one of her videos and thought, oh my gosh, that looks like date night. <laughs> when she was yarn, doing a yarn shopping video. But I love it all. Thank you very much, Reggie. And, you know, I would recommend it. I, like I said, I did buy another one. It's not here yet. And I would probably buy another one again because it's a nice mystery box, in my opinion. I got some hand-dyed yarn. Um, I got yarns I will use. Uh, and if I don't, there's a couple that are a little lightweight, but I can definitely gift them to one of my YouTube friends that I know will put good use to them. And I love the little uh, organza bag of the little goodies, too. Thank you very much, uh, Reggie. So, remember, look her up on YouTube, okay? J Hook Crochet. And check out her Etsy shop for her mystery bags. You know what? Um, before I go... I want to tell everybody, Happy Thanksgiving. If you're watching this video, it's 11-24-2021, uh, and it is the day before Thanksgiving. So, uh, if, you, if you're watching, Happy Thanksgiving to everybody from my family to yours, okay? And I want uh, just to tell everybody that. And I hope everybody stays safe over the holidays. And I will see you probably, I don't know when I'll see you again. But I'll see you again soon. Okay? Reggie, J-Hook Crochet YouTube. Reggie, J-Hook Crochet Etsy. Mystery boxes. It's a good one for, I gave, I gave it two thumbs up for back with day. I'll buy another. Not right now. I'll give everybody else a chance to buy them. But, again, I'll buy them another, on another day. I always love a good mystery. And this was a good one. Thanks, everybody. I'm just chit-chatting along. I'm going to go now. See you guys later. Take care, all right? Bye. Thanks, Reggie. It was an excellent bag.